Hey, hello friends. This is Martin from Secrets the Channel for learning about trading and investing. And welcome to a brand new episode of Markets Next Week, where we do a weekly stock analysis on what happened during the last week and you know how we can look forward for the next week is what we do in the show. So this is uh, analysis for the September twelfth Monday. The week starting from that day tomorrow, right? So let's get into the charts and see. So this is a weekly candle. Look at this white range right? candle bullish candle and it's also super wide range bullish candle so good up more is what you see on the band and the nifty both indices right no doubt about that and daily charts if you come you can see that it's a it's a close above the previous is high on both indices but you have a red that is formed because it's market reversed the spinning drop uh, on the and uh, bearish candle on the not a bearish candle, it's a red candle on the uh, previous on the Nifty 50. Right? So, um, look at this. So, this is what uh, the view that you get on the weekly. So, it's a trend line channel that we have been talking about multiple times on both indices, and you can see that the price is close above that on both, which is positive, right. Let's get the numbers. 300 points gained, 1.7 percent close green, wide range bullish candle above 20 DMA, and seems to be breaking out of the trend line channel after a correction of 4, 4, 4 to 4.5% of into rally. Bank Nifty also close green 2.5 percent, that's a thousand points up from the previous week, and it's a wide range bullish candle. We have seen that, and it's about all the weekly moving average is 20 and 50, and it's also trying to. No break out of the trend line, the closest happened with the green outside of the channel. Now, the daily time frame is not that great, although it has closed about the previous high, it is, it is showing a clear uh, selling pressure from the top with the uh, market reversing after gapping up and uh, moving uh, up substantially, but ended up closing flat 34 points only gained Nifty. And half a percent, 200 points in on the bank Nifty. So the thing is, Nifty has not managed to close above the previous swing high. If you see on, so there is a previous swing high here from where the resistance came in. That's near to the 18,000, and that's when the interim correction of 4.5 percent happened in the Nifty. But it has not managed to close above that. But bank Nifty has broken out clearly that. So that's only the caveat, right? Bollinger Bands, if you look at that, it's clearly an expansion that is starting, an expansion that is confirmed on the upside, indicating more bullishness clearly on the bank, slightly on the nifty. So Bollinger Bands has shifted from consolidation to the beginning of an expansion with nifty, you can say, and already the expansion has confirmed the bank. Nifty. So that's what Bollinger Bands says. This we have seen, trend line channel. Support resistance levels, the first support. Uh, could come in that uh, gap zone, right? So these are all the levels that you have to make an order. Right? Eight thirty eight seven eight hundred levels, right? seventeen and uh, seven hundred levels, seventeen five hundred levels, seventeen four hundred levels. So all the support zones where the gaps and previous swing lows are closed uh, were created earlier, right? And the final support will be the seventeen thousand nearby level sixty nine fifty. And uh, see, six. So this is seventeen thousand, seventeen thousand one fifty, seventeen thousand four hundred, seventeen thousand five hundred, seventeen thousand six hundred, seventeen thousand eight hundred, seven. So all support zones nearby. Right? Similarly, upside eighteen thousand with the first cut that does clear now. Then eighteen thousand one hundred and fifteen, and then eighteen three fifty one, and then all time high. It's at bang Nifty, and that's that's about the Nifty and bang Nifty support resistance levels. If you see, so all supports that you see, which are consist of gaps as well as previous swing highs, swing swing lows on the supports, right? So the first one could be forty three hundred levels, thirty nine seven hundred levels, thirty nine two hundred, thirty nine thirty eight uh, seven fifty, thirty eight four hundred, thirty seven nine fifty. That's thirty eight thousand. Then 37,250 and then near to 37,000. So, all previous swing lows and gap supports. Dollar line syndicate gap supports. Resistance similarly would be 41,000 and then no upside. So, there are no, no other major resistance other than the all time highs and the previous swing highs at 7 by NFT. Right? 
so that's about some of the and moving on the momentum and the trend line you can see it's all bullish zones as far as the moment is there it was had slipped off in nifty earlier but now it's back to the bullish zones on the rsi 60 above and span nifty also clearly showing a rising momentum trend also is mainly the bullishness but it's um, gain strength so it's a rising strength uh, is what ADX uh, in the DMI positive zones so bullishness is there nifty uh, on the medium term on the weekly charts the ADX is falling it has not started to rise so the trend does not fully reverse on the weekly on the nifty it's on the way but otherwise all other time frames daily and uh, all other time frames on daily and weekly basically they are all indicating ADX uh, positive in the positive zones bullish zones right so moment when trend looks fine Alterity is uh, cooled off by right, the market loss up and then alterity is cooled up nearly 10% so 70.71 that's a good relief but it's still not too far from the trend so very cautious uh, you can see in the charts here that it has cooled off substantially right? so the short covering is what open interest analysis on the options uh, on the futures why is showing and the is showing long bit up so that's again positive there bullishness so options open to start of you see September 15 weekly expiry we'll be seeing the levels in the next chart but put quarter ratio is 8.89 and 0.95 is very close to the one so it's also indicating bullishness so my high level clear bullishness is there levels you look at this it's a wide range so there is a lot of speculation the writers are seeing put trading and call writing at a very wide range 70,000 80,000 and then 7500 and 7900 so the sub highest support and highest uh, resistance levels are noted by the option riders 39500 and 40500 is the highest put and call writing in the bank of tc 39000 and 41000 is the next level of support and uh, that's the put writing and call writing basically you know support and resistance are seen by the option riders put call ratios of point uh, very close to the uh, nine and one is close to bullishness but not exactly there yet Short covering and is kind of popular covering the shorts and then taking long positions. So it's a build up on the futures OI on Friday. So overall OI, PCR and indicates um, bullishness and the levels are um, indicating there could be um, very volatile because of the point range. Right? That's open interest analysis and the highest support is what is dominating on the Nifty. So it's Nifty is uh, definitely stating the options that it's bullish and this is the uh, 40,500 is what is dominating on the nifty which indicates uh, that because it has substantially run more than what the nifty is but so resistance could come in that's where the highest uh, dominating call writing is what is dominating there on the bank nifty as with the oil charts for the September 15 weekly expiry Going on sectorial watch if you see 3.4 percent up it it was a was a sector that was recovering and showing bullish weekly candle so, apart from that middle also, so it is good bullish um, not bullish uh, the candle is bullish but it's not bullish sideways on both time frames on weekly and uh, daily as far as moment was concerned metal is closed up 2.4 percent up farmers are moved up the flat sectors were flat close and weekly were auto sector FMCG and reality that's half a percent of FMCG and reality that has gone up and metal has um, um, and auto has flat and this is dodgy so uh, something in the uh, auto sector it has to be um, watched closely that's in this sameness uh, it's closing flat but it's a strong sector of auto and the FMCG and reality are the three sectors which are bullish on both time frames side on both daily and weekly from the moment perspective which is good so making out of order sector fmcg reality bullish sectors it is recovering sector right but momentum is to catch up metal also short term also short term, short term bullish sectors are metal um auto fmcg reality right so pharma and it is still in the recovery mode right sideways momentum on the short term still that most bullish is auto and FMCG. Right? Reality also probably again has got added to that list probably this week. Right? So that's about all sectors across. So, so which sectors are strong? That sector is what you have to focus on and because the quality stocks and the most performing stocks in that sector.
right from the top down approach of the sectoral analysis. That's what you see here. IT has uh, taken a support, it's a major support zone, trying to reverse and consolidating at this zone is what you have to see more to sideways and the metal it's all it's a resistance zone but it's sort of formed a bullish candle moment is rising to the bull zones. Auto is also is block out we already know and momentum is on the overboard so called levels right momentum is rising up right and uh, moving on to the farmer it's having resistances down it is recovering more just like the IT. IT and the farmer is closely linked to the US markets as we know right FMCG is also broken now just like the auto and is maintaining the relationship from the momentum perspective reality also is having a cup and handle record it has formed the handle and now broke out of the handle and then momentum has climbed to the bullish zones the heavy weights in the index if you analyze HDFC bank is also sideways momentum still but managed to close green candle last day HDFC Trading some resistance and consolidating the support zone as you can see momentum is sideways just like HDFC bank Lines also momentum is sideways flat but you know, within a trend line channel right so all the HDFC lines the big pairs momentum is set to catch up it's the sideways momentum only medium time frame now, that's why the nifty has a medium time frame weakness in the trend as compared to the bank right Heavy weights uh, in forces uh, and uh, TCS charts is what you see on the left side. They are close green with white range bullish. It's it was it was at a support zone and it was uh, trying to recover from that the sector itself. Well, ahead we have major resistance that is marked here. That is that momentum is actually climbed back into the sideways zones from the bear zones. Right? This is a bang is broken out with a white range bullish candle opening a low pattern. Breakout is clearly visible. Momentum is in the bullish zones. Most bullish. Along the heavy is what I see is bank. Like bank is also it's a resistance zone. It could be that uh, it can fall back down and do the six, same six level it has been doing for a long time. So, but momentum otherwise on the climb the bullish zones you can say on the medium term as well. So short term all these are bullish. So that's both the bank, all the bank stocks basically are in the bullish in the short term. But we are talking about weekly charts and weekly. So most bullish I see is definitely no doubt about that. It's medium term, heavy weight HDFC bank analysis is had to catch up. IT strokes anyway, it's in the catch up mode is recovery. So, the most bullish sector is ICC bank. Apart from the others, in the medium term, just have to wait for some more. Moving on in social participation is like the fact that trending out is net, net buyers once again 6,135 crores of buying last week and DA is selling 350 crores only, small amounts. Okay. So, institutional participation is good, positive. And long term it is a down however on the institutional side moving on the global markets first thing to look at is the global markets the u.s markets u.s indices is what you see in the dow jones nasdaq and uh, S&P finder all have taken a reversal taken a support on the channel bottom trend line channel from the code low and you can see that it's a bounce up and uh, it does not manage to close above the previous big wide range bearish channel but uh, it's almost close very close to that so that recovery attempt is being made we have to keep a close watch of this next week because any big up moves for the down from this support zone could be dangerous and have to keep if they are really big then our markets could follow that so that's a big risk that you see in the market side right? and uh, dollar wise it's spiking up yeah, that's a big worry usd INR also is on the top very close uh, no RBN relation may be keeping it below the 80. That's what is happening. Uh, USD NR is flat close last week, but dollar index also slightly moved down. More about 8.9 and 79.64 is what dollar index and USD NR is showing. Right, but crude is only relief. It has cooled off and it's at a support zone. It's at the channel bottom, so it's below the 85 levels. The other 90 levels basically it should be fine. Momentum is just on the edge of breaking into the uh, beer is so on. So this is the relief, only relief that we have is crude, right? Dollar is bad, right? All the hedging instrument is consolidating after having slipped to the support zones and the moment in the bear zones on the weekly charts. That's what you see, right? So gold is um, not showing any spike up, so it's consolidating since very, very long time, right? So use markets and dollar index is something to watch out. 
that could be cause of concern and as long as crude remains in the slab it should be fine two topics one is detection technologies and the second is container for further long questions you can clearly see that it's a trending channel and the breakout is confirmed and the moment of the medium chart and the short term both have climbed to the bullish zones of the rsi 60 above trend is also in the bullish zones and the rising right as per the adx same thing container crop it's a box pattern breakout uh, may be possible it is made in all time high and it is close above the rectangle pattern and then any close any rise above this candle high could be a definite indicator of a more upswing okay it may give uh, may consolidate this point or could break out okay. so keep watch on that and then the thing is momentum is climbed just on the 60 but it's not no, no not settled down so probably it may make sense for it to move a little more up and then took a small pull back that's the time probably for an entry but otherwise momentum on the weekly and the daily time frames are definitely bullish and uh, adx also is trending high okay. so container corp and dex technology two stocks for the next week or so right for swing trade opportunities right so this is nifty double diagonal calendar spread let's see come out with this every week and uh, it has been consistently making profit and that's the purpose of this strategy itself it's basically selling the near month call and put options and then taking hedge positions on the next month's call and put options right so fully hedge and then uh, we know the risk of uh, how much we lose and uh, we don't give good uh, risk reward as long as you are exiting at two to three percent uh, uh return of interest if that is what is targeted then we should be fine because the advantage as i have been saying every time is that it's giving a widest range all the strategies give this wider range apart from some ratio spreads that also be good right but look at this this also gets again uh, the backup and the you know, volatility spikes and this could benefit and look at this range 7500 so now we are going to go to that level in a week most likely right so that range so it's, it's always a very safe safe play completely hands and uh, there is always option in case such wide mega moves happens also there is time enough for us to adjust it because that's a advantage of the range right so if you're targeting for bigger profit per lot then you may have, this may not work out but one two to three percent profits are easy consistently that's the advantage of the strategy right double diagonal control spreads so that's the strategy for the nifty on the for the next week and then moving on to the wrap up right so markets are closed uh, with a bullish candle we have seen that it's broke it's closed above the trend line on weekly on nifty and the bank that's very really positive so it indicates that probably that may be breaking out and continuation of the rally and the correction is over for the for the interim four or four to five percent of correction that has happened and it could be a breakout that may be happening price pulling the bands also indicating that it's positive um, consolidation is over and it's now in expansion so if I was turning out net bias for the second week, PCR or open interest short covering on the uh, Nifty and long build up on the bank Nifty, it's cooling off to no ten percent and uh, bull so all all of this indicates that it's bullishness. So market view is definitely mild bullishness, not super bullishness because of two factors. One is the spin top and Nifty not able to close above the previous high, yeah. and bank Nifty also from f facing the selling pressure is different. And because markets are not at a great place although there is a green close that has happened uh, it's not at a great uh, shape it's at a um, moment is on the edge of uh, climbing back into the sideways from the bear zones and all the uncertainties solved remain there and so nothing has definitely gone there the report inflation and, and it's fed interest rates and our RBA interest rates and power prices all this is there and there and cool oil is cool of a little bit is only relief Right, but not too much, right? Follow is the all time high levels, 20 year high levels, and rupees a week is all concerned. So, it's still there. So, so market could be very volatile if it is moving again about 20 levels. So, levels to watch out uh, is also the same 18,000 and 17,000. So, it's a range that the uh, is also showing 41,000 and 37,000 also on the upside and downside. Of the bank it can be looked for for swing. Uh, or a medium term levels you can see right so always head your positions because overnight risk is high right and you will not get time to put the stop loss next day if there is overnight events that could uh, move the markets right like 
right so always uh, protect your long term quality stocks with uh, cash or puts or forward calls no? check out the playlist for these strategies if you're not aware of them right? so expect high volatility and some bullishness can be there a breakout is on the happening and that's what my view is my bullishness for the next week uh, and hope you would look at uh, those stock picks and these uh, nifty option strategy also uh, and if it somehow helps you to come out with your own trade plan and market view for the next week and if it helps in some way definitely consider hitting the like button and share it to maximum and if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe we have very few subscriptions i appreciate your help in this regard thanks for watching i've been trading i've been learning i've been investing bye